Do you ever wonder why most leaders never produce a leader? Do you ever wonder why most people are unwilling to invest in other people? It's because leading people is the real work in life. Growing, developing relationships, communicating, building leaders is the greatest challenge that you will ever have to face in your entire life. You ever know those people, you know, they go to the gym by themselves and they're doing their workouts by themselves, but they're always breaking records and they always have personal bests and or they're, they're making phone calls on their own, but they're always making 50 calls and they're always doing appointments on their own, but they always say they're doing 10, 20, 30 appointments and you just know they're full of it. You just know what they're saying is untrue. People that embellish the truth, they take shortcuts. They look for all the shortcuts in life and in business, and they try and find all every single one of them. The reality is, is that people that take shortcuts in business with developing people never build teams. I have learned thousands of lessons through leading people. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you wanna be a leader of people, and you wanna build an organization, it will be, if not the, one of the greatest challenges of your entire life. It's the real work. It's the hard work. You have people quitting on you. You gotta build relationships on people that are gonna walk away from you. You gotta put in the time, the effort. You're gonna cry a few times before you get there. You're gonna be confused. You're gonna be unsure. You're gonna wonder why we are or they are the way they are. And investing and learning about people is one of the greatest challenges and greatest rewards that you're ever gonna have in your entire life. So today, what I wanna talk to you about is the lessons that I've learned through leading people. Now, before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? When this is done, share it with your team, give it some love, even check me out on Instagram too, follow me on all my channels. There's information in the description box. Look, the leading people leadership game, it's never won, it's just played. You don't win leadership, you don't win building leaders, it's ongoing, it's like the game of golf. You don't ever win golf. You might win a round or a tournament, but you don't win golf. The next weekend, you might play way worse at golf than you did the weekend before. It's like leadership. You don't win it, you just play it. So I wanna share with you some things that I've learned. I've made a lot of mistakes in leadership. I'm speaking from 18 years experience. I'm speaking from a guy that's helped build nearly a thousand licensed agents across North America. I'm speaking from a guy that's developed multiple, dozens and dozens of six-figure earners in their career, and I'm telling you, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm telling you, I did it wrong most of the time. So let me give you a little insight to what it takes. Firstly, not everybody that you're leading can relate to who you are. One of the biggest mistakes that I made through leading people and building a team is I just assumed that people could relate to me. And that's a big challenge. What I want you to do is I want you to get to their level. You gotta get to their level. You gotta work on understanding them. You gotta get on their side of the table, learn about them, learn about their culture. You know, early on in my career, I would ask myself questions like, why don't they get it? Why aren't they just more like me? How come their mindset's not the same? Because they weren't raised the same. They were in a different environment. They come from different countries, different parents. And it doesn't make me right or you right or them wrong. It's just different. And if you really want to learn to lead people, if you really want to learn to build a team, you have to spend less time talking and more time learning about them, getting on their level. What makes them tick? Look, building leaders is a lifelong relationship. It's like marriage. Before you marry somebody, you get to know everything about them. Before you have the moral authority to truly lead somebody in business, I'm not talking about an employer-employee relationship. In business, if you wanna have the moral authority to lead somebody, you gotta build a relationship. And the best way to build a relationship is for you to get down to their level. And I don't mean like, cause they're beneath you. I mean, really get down to understand who they are, what makes them tick. And this is a big mistake that I made early on. I did not invest enough time in my people learning from them. Second, you gotta realize that not everybody is ready to be led. But Steve, I have these people in my organization and they're not doing anything and they're not taking my coaching. Look, not everybody's ready. Not everybody is ready to be led. And I'll be honest, not everybody's ready to be led by you. Are you worthy of leading them? Are you a worthy example? What's your relationship like? You know, I had a conversation last week with somebody in our business. They said, Steve, I got this person on my team and they don't call me back. They don't listen to this and that. I said, what's your relationship like with that person? Well, we talk once a month. You're making money off of this person. You have no relationship. The communication and relationship is severed and you wonder why they're not calling you back. I wouldn't call you back either. Not everybody is ready to be led. So your job as a leader is to get them to a point where they are ready to be led. And usually, between A and B is a lot of communication, a lot of relationship building, a lot of building trust, 
a lot of getting to know them. But I'll tell you what, when a new up and comer is finally ready to be led, if the relationship is there, if the communication has been strong, that person can take off and they'll be with you for the rest of your career. Next thing I wanna to talk to you about leadership and building leaders. Not everybody is gonna stay with you long-term. I constantly see people building organizations and they're, they just, they're assuming that their three best people are gonna be with them for the rest of their career. And they stop building the other business over here because they're just relying on these three people. I'll tell you what, the day you do that is the day that you put your business at risk. You cannot assume that everybody on your team and everybody in your business is gonna be with you forever. They don't owe you anything. They don't. Just because you train them, just because you led them, you think that they're gonna stay forever? So you could cool your jets and you could just sit back and make a bunch of money off of your team, off of your organization? Look, your people don't owe you a thing and they might leave you. So just remember in the leadership game, not everybody stays with you forever. Some come for a warm cup of coffee. Some will stay for 10 years and there'll be a few that are with you for the rest of your life. But just remember that. The last lesson I've learned through leading people is this. Sometimes it is your fault. Sometimes it is on you. Sometimes you just gotta take personal responsibility for what's going on with that leader or that relationship and you gotta own up to it. You can't be the kind of person that's always passing the blame, that's always pushing in other, other people. And in fact, I'll say this, most of the time, it's your fault. Most of the time, you should be taking personal responsibility for what's happening in your business and the business of the leaders that you're building. All right, you guys, leadership is the best game in the world. It's the most fun, the most rewarding, it's the most profitable, it's something that can last generations, but it's also the most challenging. And if you aren't willing to put in the time and effort and do some of the things that I train on in this video and previous videos, you're never gonna win at the leadership game. You're not just gonna hop into the game, spend a bit of time and make a million bucks a year. That's not how it works. But those of you that master the game, master the communication, master the relationships, master the understanding of people, mastering the don't wait for people, once you learn that part of the game, it's like, cutting butter with a warm knife. So I hope you got some value out of that. I hope there's some nuggets there that you could implement in your business. Make sure you share this with your team. And again, if you've not taken a minute to subscribe to the channel, take a second now and go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and watch the next video. I bet you're gonna like that one too. We'll see you on the next one.